Hi guys, in this video, I am going to talk about forward reasoning. In forward reasoning, reasoning proceed forward, beginning with factor, changing through rules, and finally establishing the goal. As the name suggests, forward reasoning. So it will proceed forward. Now, how it will proceed forward? First, it will begin with the factors. If you want to proceed for forward, first you will collect the factors. Once factors are collect, then chaining this factor with rules means chaining the factors with rules. And now when you have chained this factor with rules, and now finally you will establish the goal. In forward reasoning, when the uh, when forward reasoning is used. when the left side of a sequence of rules are initiated first and rules are executed from left to right this process is called forward reasoning when this forward reasoning is going to be used when rules are or or rules are initiated from left side of sequence and are executed from left to right how uh, in forward reasoning execution will begin from left to right this process is called as forward reasoning forward reasoning is also known as data driven search why it is known as data driven search since input data are used to guide the direction of the inference process in forward reasoning whatever the inputs are given that we called as factors first this input will guide us to the direction means uh, the given input will guide what is the our final goal or uh, after linking this input as factors uh, with uh, ruling the chains then we will proceed forward for our goal let's take an example to understand the forward reasoning this is the statement given when a student is encouraged is healthy and has goal the student will succeed now we have to begin with the forward reasoning and we uh, we have to derive the goal that uh, when a student is encouraged is healthy and has goal the student will succeed so how in forward reasoning we are going to begin we know that in forward reasoning in we begin with the factors here our factor is student so we begin with the when student is encouraged after that we will change through the rules now we will change that uh, to uh, encourage a student if it is healthy then it will have goal and so so on so second step is changing through the rules we will change the different uh, chain the different different rule and finally we will establish the goal and uh, what is our goal uh, that student will succeed this is our goal and in forward reasoning we begin from the left side of the sequence so here when a student is encouraged encouraged student if a student is encouraged if he is encouraged that i will clear ips exam if he is encouraged to clear the ips exam then he will be motivated if a student is encouraged then the student will be motivated he will be motivated uh, how i will will do or how i will start preparing for the ips motivated student and healthy student if a student is motivated but he is not healthy then he will be not able to do the so much amount of hard work that is required required to clear the ips exam so if a student is motivated and healthy he is motivated and is healthy from mind and health then he will work hard so it will be a he will be a working hard student a motivated and healthy student will work hard if he will work hard but he will if he is not having any goal then he will not able to succeed so work work hard student and has goal if a student is having in goal and he is working hard then definitely that student will be a excel student if a student is excel student then definitely he will succeed so this was the forward reasoning in forward reasoning we begin with the factors then we will change the change 
द फैक्टर एंड फाइनली वी विल स्टेब्लिश द गोल इन फॉरवर्ड रीजनिंग बी विगन फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट साइड and then we will execute from left side to right hand side and finally we will be able to reach the goal so this was all the forward reasoning thank you